right, so you see she shows up under getting ready stage first, and then now she's ready for visit. Okay, so let me do the same thing. I will expand this, and then I will click on the call button. And that's this time, let's try download the app. All right, so once you do that, you will see two options, uh, install VC for the first time, or if you already downloaded the VC, then you can proceed to consultation. Because this is my first time downloading the VC Messenger, so I need to click install. Okay, once I do that, and then the VC application is downloaded on my uh, laptop. So I need to double click this to run it. It'll just take a few moments, just a few seconds. And then once the installation is completed, I will see the installation is completed box as it says in the uh, manual. Okay, I got the installation completed box. So I'll just click okay. All right, then I will choose next. Okay, so next is trying to launch the video. So it's just a, uh, one extra step uh, that you need to do. Okay, hi Anne. All right, because you downloaded the VC app, you will have the extra window. You see this window, VC window, this is a VC Messenger app. So like, you know, like any app, they have their own menu. So this uh, box, once you have it, Whenever someone comes into your waiting room, you will get the notification like this, like, you know, orange message blinking, and then you will hear the sound alert. So in that case, you just need to click here to acknowledge the message. All right, that's it. And then you will see who's in your waiting room. And once you have done that, uh, don't call the patient from this app. You just need to minimize it and then come back to your web portal. So, okay, let me go back to the web portal. So here, um, one quick tip about VC Messenger app. So this video screen is always on top mode. So if you try to like, you know, click on the web browser and then to, you know, uh, call the browser in front, you can do that because it's on the uh, on top mode. So you can unpin this video window right here. So you just click and pin that. Uh, let, me, let me click on and pin. Then you can get your web browser to the front, okay? Now you can click on the dashboard. And then you can see that now Anne is in the in progress stage. And then you can also see she's in a call with uh, Dr. Becky Wei. So just in case if you have like multiple providers in the waiting room, uh, you know, monitoring the same waiting room, then, you know, the provider, they can see each other. Oh, this patient is talking to this doctor. Then, you know, let me grab next patient in line. So you can have that kind of coordination inside. Okay, another thing uh, people ask, like, you know, I'm on my laptop, I have a very limited screen. I wanna see my screen, like, you know, sometimes my EMR and also the video, how do I do that? So in that case, you can make your web browser smaller like this. And also the VC video window, you can, uh, you know, drag the side and then you can resize it. So you can make it smaller or you can make it bigger. And you can also uh, pop out the individual window. So I can pop this out and then it will be a, a separate window and then you can move around. So these are the different arrangements that you can do. But for me, I like to, you know, pop this in and then I just make it smaller on the side so that I have like more uh, screen space for my uh, other things like, you know, my EMR, my calendar, my web browser, whatever. Okay, so this is a one quick tip. And once you are in the uh, video call, you can do the screen sharing. So for VC, if you wanna do the screen sharing, so you just click on the window or browser that you wanna share. Once you have done that, you will see the green V share button at the top. So if you click on that one, you see the orange border appears. So that orange border is a uh, visual indicator telling you that this region has been shared with your remote people. So Anne can see my screen. And then at the top, I have a pen button. So I can click on it, I can annotate it. And can, and can annotate it as well. So yeah, this is a quick way to do the screen sharing during your call. So you can screen share your Word document, your spreadsheet, your pictures, anything, right? And then once you've done that, you can just click and share, and then the orange border disappears, all right? Okay, and then the next one. Uh, yeah, so people ask like, you know, like if, 
uh, if I want to do the group call, how do I do that? So for the basic BC clinic, by default, it's an individual call. It's a one-to-one -one call. So if you have another patient in your waiting room and then you accidentally call that patient, don't worry. Like two patients or two clients, they don't see each other. Only you will see like you know two clients at the same time, but they don't see each other. They don't hear. They don't hear each other. So that is by default. Uh, if you want the group call, you know, to do the group like you know therapy session or a group visit, then you need to let us know because that's a uh, it's a uh, enterprise feature that we need to turn it on to enable the group call. All right.